Hey guys, what's up? It's Youth Cheerios here today, or Kana Grant, and today we're going to be playing the new game Animal Crossing New Horizons. So basically, this game came out earlier this year in March, and it has been um, becoming more and more popular since it came out. Um, I know that it's been in the top 10 video games since um, quarantine started and that everyone in the world has been playing it and everyone's been saying it's um, very fun. I would say so myself. Um, I've already played it, but this is going to be my second time or um, I'm going to be creating my second island. I would really recommend playing this game. It's really fun and I'm here playing this for my second time or my second island to show you guys some new early um, beginner tips so you guys can know what to do or if you guys get stuck early on I can help you just give you some tips some quick tips just to get you started so you can know what we're doing so let's get started so when you get to the part about choosing which island you want it doesn't really matter early on because later you'll get to terraform your island which basically means you can change up your island however you want it to look. And so it doesn't really matter what island you choose right now, you can always change it later. And so as you can see on the island, there are three levels. So the light green is the third level. The medium or second darkest green is the second level. And then the darkest green is the first level and so you can you'll be able to change those later on with terraforming and then the blue stuff or the blue lines are the rivers of course and then that small um little leaf green leaf icon is the resident service area and so you should pick your island wisely based i think on this because i've already played this and you can't change where that is like you can't move it like normally later in the game you'll be able to move your house wherever you want or you can move your villagers houses wherever you want but you can't move the resident service area at all it stays there the whole game at that spot that you choose on the island and also one switch gets one island so if you even if you have multiple accounts or multiple pl people playing on that switch it only has one island you can't have a different island for each um person or account and so you're going to want to choose wisely on that if you have more than one person playing this switch so that you guys can agree on an island that you guys all like. And so, yeah. So once you guys um, finish up meeting with Timmy, Tommy, and Tom Nook, the resident service owner, you're going to be given a tent and they're going to ask you to place it so we can do that. But first things first, to rock, walk around, just push the left Joy-Con around. Um, left, up, down, or right, wherever you want to go. And to look up or down, um, move the right Joy-Con down or up. And to run, you're going to want to hold B. And holding B is very efficient to get in places that you need to go rather than just walking. Okay, so let's find a place to stick our house. You can see the map on our bottom right-hand corner if we hold still. So that's always very helpful to see... Um, where we can go. You can't go beyond the river unless you have a vaulting pole and for that you need to find the recipe for the vaulting pole and then you need to craft it. So we can talk about that later but right now you just need to find a place to put your house and you can't go across the river so let's just look around for a good place to, uh, to stick our house. So it doesn't really matter where you put your house. Um, you can always move it later in the game. Um, it'll only cost around I think 30 or 40,000 bells from what I remember and so that is kind of a lot but once you get started in the game and you, and you have lots of bells it won't really matter where you move your house so you can just put it anywhere for now. found a good place to stick my house where I think it'll look good so I'm just gonna press X open up my inventory you can press X anytime to open up inventory and you can click A as you can see to select it and then um, press build here and then it asks, can you put your tent here? So you can say, let me imagine it. And this won't immediately um, put it down. But instead, it'll let you see what it'll look like. So I think um, this is pretty good. Um, but maybe I could move it over a little bit more if I wanted to. 
down here so I don't get the tree out of the way. So let's put it here. And so um, I think it wants us to help our, um, the other people on this island. These people are known as your villagers. Um, you'll be taking care of them. They'll be your friends on the island. And they'll ask you to do some tasks for you if you want to do it for them. And you can get them gifts later on in the game. So you can either have them choose their spot. Like if they're standing right there, that's where they kind of want to put it. Or you can um, choose your own villagers spot. So I decided to choose snakes just because I kind of want to put it um, not there, not so close to the entrance. But maybe closer to my house or just um, closer to another area that would look better. I'm going to put Snake's house right here just because I think it'd look good. So now I'm going to go help um, Hazel get her house. I think that looks good. So let's go with it. So when you're shaking a tree, I don't think there's a limit to how many tree branches you can get out of the tree. I've heard people say there's only you can only get eight or nine tree branches out of one tree, but I've gone like a lot more, so I'm not really sure. But yeah, you can actually just go to a tree and keep pressing A, and more tree branches will just come out. And yeah, and then press Y to pick up them. Press Y to pick up any item. You can pick up weeds, so you can press Y if you want to pick up the weeds on the ground. Little Timmy. He said that we should keep our weeds for later because we could sell them. So let's plan on doing that. Um, I'm not really sure how many tree branches he said we needed. I think he said 10 or 15. So I'm just going to get 15 and see what he says. And so now he wants you to go to trees with your native fruit. So native fruit basically means the fruit that's already growing on your island. And so my native fruit are pears. And so just go to a tree with uh, fruit on it, pears, whatever fruit you have, and just press A to shake it out. And then all three of them will drop, and um, yeah, you can just press Y to collect them up, collect them. And then give them the Tom Nook. Okay, so once you guys did the campfire thing, and then rested for a little bit, and then woke up, and did the KK um, slider thing, Tom Nook will talk to you, give you your Nook phone, and then you'll be on your way to do whatever you want. So first... First things first, every time you leave your house or you start the game, I would say go right to your mailbox. It'll be to the left side of your tent or house, wherever you're at. In the later game, you'll be able to pick up your mailbox and be able to place it wherever you want. But for right now, you don't have that ability yet. So it's going to be just to the left of your house. I'm sorry, you can't really see it because of the tree. That's my bad. But every time there's like a little blue um, mail icon, beeping out of that mailbox you know that you have mail and so you're just gonna get a, go over to it and click a to open the mailbox it's three gifts from nintendo and then once you get those they'll be in your pocket click a to open each present up if you want we have a simple diy workbench we have a ring coin and we have an animal crossing new horizon nintendo switch and so we can't learn this yet because we don't know how or what a DIY recipe is yet. We'll figure that out later. And so right now, if you click on ZL on the left, left-hand side of your controller, you can open up your Nook phone, and you can see that you have a camera, Nook miles, custom designs, rescue service, passport, and map. It'll all explain them as soon as you open those particular apps. So if we go to Nook miles to look at the Nook miles mileage program, we can see that we have already earned some Nook Miles. So you earn Nook Miles by completing island activities. And these are all the different ones you can earn. So the more you do, the more um, Nook Miles stamps and um, just the more Nook Miles you earn, which is good. See on my top right, you can see that I have zero right now. But as soon as I click on this to claim it, It'll give me some miles and um, some title keywords. And so you can get some quick, easy miles. You can either take a photo of yourself using the camera and get some more Nook miles because you need 5,000 to pay off the debt. And if you start here and you go to Nook miles and you just slightly push down on the right bumper, it'll immediately bring you to where the Nook miles um, needs to get claimed, which is very um, effective and nice. So yeah. From here, you can just get new title words, photogenic, photographer, 
and new Nook Miles. You can do custom designs, you get Nook Miles from doing some custom designs. Now as you can see here you have an unlimited or you have a limit to how many design patterns you can create but you can change um, any one of them at a time if you want even the ones they made for you and you can just create more and it'll give you more Nook Miles. So for more I got first custom design learning how to use the custom design app. So that's how you use it, just change the tools or colors you want on that app. And so right now, you can do whatever you want, it's your island. First things first, as I talked about before, these are weeds on the ground. Just click, come up to them and click Y to pick them up. This is a bulletin board, and so you can just come up to it, click A, and see what posts um, people have posted. And you can use this board to post important notices that they post, or you can post stuff yourself. So first task I can see is that we need to pay off our debt with Nook Miles. You need 5,000 miles. So basically what you want to do is just do tasks all around the islands. Just to get those 5,000 Nook Miles, you can do whatever. You can look at more in your Nook Miles program. With paying off debt, like with bells, there are many ways you can actually pay off your debt or get bells. One of them is foraging and um, scavenging and then selling those items. So you can either um, gather weeds or whether it's fruit, shells on the beach, because there will be shells that appear on the beach, whether it's selling fish, see this is a shell, whether it's selling fish or bugs, anything that you um, scavenge you can sell, whether it's fossils too, because you can be able to dig those up later. You can also make money off of something called turnips. That'll be later in the game. So, this game, there aren't really any, like, okay, there are goals, but there aren't really, like, main goals or storylines that you might, like, follow or anything, like, you have to save this person or you have to do this task or else something bad is gonna happen, like, you need to follow a certain path. That, this isn't that game. This is just about making money, making bells, um, building up your own island, buying stuff, selling stuff, putting stuff wherever you want. It's like your own imagination just put into the island. You can create it however you want. There's no bad or wrong things you can do. It's just whatever your creativity um, puts you up to and whatever you want to create. So the first thing you might want to do is go to the DIY workshop. When doing a DIY workshop, you'll get recipes and then you'll learn those recipes in your Nook phone. And then you'll need to forage materials for that DRI recipe to create it. And then you'll need to go to a workbench such as this one. You'll be able to, be able to um, make other workbenches that you can put around the island. But yeah, you need these workbenches to create the DIY recipes that you have in your Nook phone. So you're just going to want to walk up to a workbench, press A, and then it'll take you to this screen. It'll say for the DIY recipe, we already know the flimsy fishing rod. Um, it'll say if it's craftable with the highlighted one and if it doesn't say that it's you won't it'll say it won't say anything but if you click on it you can see the materials that you have or that you need and if it doesn't say craftable then you need more materials to create um the DIY recipe so with flimsy tools you can't um they'll break easily which means you have like a certain amount of usage or uh, amount of times you can use it so like say for the flimsy fishing rod, you can only use it for about like, I'm not sure, but maybe like 15 times and then it'll break and you'll need to build another um, flimsy fishing, fishing rod. So this is the recycling box and then we can go to the Nook Miles um, machine. So this is the Nook Miles terminal. And so this is where you'll earn daily bonus Nook Miles um, every day you go to the terminal. So once you talk to Tom Nook and sort out the DOI recipes and workbench, you can now create your own um, fishing pole and flimsy net. You can also learn the simple DOI workbench recipe that you have in your inventory because now you have the app. And so when you get those DRI recipes, you can learn them. But if you get like a multiple or duplicate of that one, you can't learn it again. So the best way to get rid of it is probably just to sell it. It's not worth much, but since you already have it, it won't matter because you can't learn it again. And so this is a butterfly. So you just want to get, want to get out your net, get up close to it, and then just press A to swing at it. And then it'll say you caught it. 
fishing is a little different because you can't actually see what the um, critter is as with insects like with insects you can see that it's a common butterfly or a yellow butterfly and it's just flying around and you can just catch them whenever you want but with fishing there's a certain way to catch it so basically you just want to go up to the um, dark shadow and press A which will make you swing up swing your fishing pole don't go too far away because you can't get it You're just gonna wait for it to look at it and then once it um, bites it you can feel it or you can just see it bite down or hear it you want to press A to get it back up again and then you caught a fish and that's how you catch fish and so once you've caught um, five total of bugs or fish you can go to Tom Nook you can donate them for the museum that you'll build later on the museum is where you'll donate um, later on fish um, bugs, um, sea creatures, um, or fossils, or paintings, slash art, you'll be able to, to donate those later on. And so you can also catch cans, boots, or tires when you're fishing. It's, it can't always be fish, it's usually fish, but um, you can get trash, such as, the, as I said, um, cans or boots or tires. So once you catch your first, um, critter whether it's a fish or insect you're gonna want to give it to Tom Nook so that he can give it to his friend who will later be in charge of the museum that you build where you will later donate the critters like I said so once you um, finally give all five critters that you caught or found and gave it to Tom Nook he'll call his good friend Blathers who's in charge of the museum and he'll give you the tent so once you found a good spot to place on Blathers Museum, um, you're good to go. And now you can just keep on catching more critters, um, fish, and bugs for right now. Collecting weeds and picking them off your island. And just doing more tasks so that you can complete um, your Nook Miles. So once you have um, gotten the recipe for a flimsy axe, you can build it once you've gotten the materials for it. And then you can just start... Um, going to trees, going up to it like you would when shaking down the tree to get fruit or a tree branch, and it's clicking A to get wood. And you can only hit a tree up to three times a day. You can't get any more wood um, out of a tree than three pieces of wood by hitting it three times. You can also just shake trees just to get, you know, tree branches, or sometimes money will fall out of them, but sometimes wasps will fall out of them, and so you want to be careful of that. Um, you can get stung by them. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Nothing bad will happen. See, like this. But you want to go up to it with your net and press A to swing at it. To catch it. Um, they do move pretty fast. So once you shake a tree with your net, you always want to have your net out. Unless you're chopping down wood. Um, if you're chopping down wood and a wasp's nest pops out, um, that's just unlucky. But what you can do is you can either try to pull out your net really quickly and try to um, catch it. That's really hard. But I would recommend just running away into the nearest building you can. Whether it's a villager's house, your house. Um, once you run inside a building when wasps are chasing you, they'll leave you alone. And once you come out, you'll be fine. But the easiest way is probably just to catch them because they do give you pretty good money overall. And so there are five wasps nests. Um, every day that you can get that come out of the trees when you shake. So yeah, just be careful about that. Since um, I created my axe, I can also go to rocks to hit the rock and get stone or um, iron. You can get clay or you can get gold. Gold is a very valuable resource that you want to keep. You don't want to sell it. So if you just want to go up to a rock with your axe or if you have a shovel, a shovel is usually better for this. But since we don't have this shovel recipe, we can't really do that until we buy it later in a shop that we will build. So right now, the only thing we can do is use our axe to hit the rock. You don't want to stop when hitting a rock. You just want to keep hitting it because if you stop, you won't get as many items. You need to be quick about it. So let's just go ahead and hit the rock. As you can see on my screen, I have a yellow balloon here. It doesn't matter um, what color the balloon is. It's just a balloon holding a present. 
and these things will fly around your island every I think five to ten minutes one will spawn and go from one side of an island to another you can't really do anything right now because you need as I said before a slingshot and to get the slingshot you need the slingshot DIY recipe and then you need the materials to make it but we don't have that recipe yet until we can buy it later as with the shovel DIY recipe so you can look at it you can, you can just look at it and look how cool it looks but you can't really do anything right now because you don't have the tool to shoot it down with which is the slingshot and so you'll see those all the time don't worry if you miss one they spawn between every five to ten minutes on your island you'll see them all the time so don't worry also with rocks sometimes it won't always shoot out um, iron clay gold or stone sometimes there'll be a money rock there will be one money rock out of i believe there are six rocks that you have on the island that you can hit there'll be one money rock out of the five which means that you can get money by hitting it and instead of um, materials so you'll have that um, every day and every day a new rock will be the money rock because you don't have storage because you have a tent you can't um store anything in your house until you get the house built your first house built once you pay off those 5,000 nook miles all right guys that's it for this video i hope you liked the content i hope i helped a lot of you guys and gave you some good um early beginner tips to get you started i will be posting in the next week or so so if you want subscribe leave a like and i will see you next time